Hello everybody, my name is Matt Dog, and welcome back to a brand new Snapshot video talking about Snapshot 15W41A and 41B. So, to get started here, I'm going to grab these Ender Pearls, and I'm going to go into this end portal that I've built right here, and I killed myself in here because I accidentally went through it earlier. So, let me just break through this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was quick. Um, yes, it was just a few blocks, but yeah, so I'm going to first of all just give myself night vision here, so... Okay, guys, I found the portal. I don't know if it was here before or not, but yeah, let's ender pearl into it now that we can do that in creative, and... What? Oh, it... Oh! Is that new? Is there a beacon under there? I, I see what it's for now, but is there a beacon? Oh, I guess it just happens... Oh, yeah, I, just, I remember. It just happens when you teleport through it. It just does that gives it like a nice animation or something here so I messed up my throw what you do just ender pearl into it or whatever and yeah so you'll come down here go down here is there any actual potions okay so yeah there's actual potions in there I wasn't sure if they were just water bottles or whatever but yeah so you got this you got some obsidian got some more purple but Okay, guys, so I decided here that I would just build it here because I've been looking around for like 10 minutes and I only found that one and it was a dud. So, yeah, um, you're going to get into the ship, you're going to come down the stairs, and then you're going to get here. So you're going to have to walk up and we'll go flying away and you pick this up. And you're like, what does this do? So you go in here, you take off your chest plate, you put this on, and so... Um, you loot these chests, whatever's in it. Let's just pretend my chest plate's in it. Then we grab that. There might be a potion. I don't know what exactly will be in it. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to go into game mode 1. And let me build like a pillar. It's just like, let's pretend there's a block under us. And then if we go into game mode 0, we're just going to start gliding around. And so, usually you'll jump off instead of just start falling immediately. But we can glide around and so you just glide around get to where you want so like you could be on a mountain or something and glide around for a bit we didn't get much air because we fell for a little bit but your elytra or whatever it takes a bit of damage so what you're going to want to do is you're just want to oops i'm in survival here okay so i'm out of survival here we're just going to place our anvil we're going to put in our half broken elytra let's just put in a little bit of leather we don't need all that much but let's just put in one leather re repair it but Wait a second, it's going to take a bunch of damage. So we can put an Unbreaking 3 book on it, and we'll get the Enchanted Elytra, or whatever you want to call it. You can't get this from an enchantment table. You have to use a anvil with the, the book or whatever. But now if we were to go into game mode 1 and fly up here, let's just fly up a bit more than we did last time so that we can start gliding a bit earlier than we did. So it must be my render distance, but I'm up here a little ways. The floor is down below us, but let's just go into game mode zero. And as you can see, we're gliding around. Like, look at this. Like, look at our, like, coordinates here. They're just flying all over. Like, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Like, I lost the village. I don't know where we all went and everything. But as you can see, we're taking a lot less damage than we did last time for flying. And you take damage for, like, well... As you fly, you take more and more damage on it, and then you got to repair it. And hopefully this is the village. I have no idea. I found that other village I found randomly. But anyway, not only that, but there's another feature. So let's go into game mode one. We have new boats. So let me get this set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so what we can do is we can jump off, okay? So now we're gliding. And we can hop into our boat and start paddling along. Yes. So, boats have been fixed. And you cannot look all the way around. You can only look half and half. But you use your A key to move, like, this way. Or, yeah, right. So you move your left paddle, which pushes you to the right. And then you move your D, which is your right paddle. So if you push D, you'll start spinning in circles this way, and you can hold both of them to go forward, and if you let off one, you'll start turning one way, and then, yeah, that's how you turn. And, as you can see, we have passengers, so you can have a two-man boat team or something, and I don't think, I haven't tried it or anything with, like, two players on, like, a server or anything, but I'm guessing that, like, the person in the front is the, like, control panel guy or something. I don't know what you want to call it. And the guy in the back's just along for the ride. 
and the guy in the front is the one that like paddles it. I don't know how it exactly works when it comes to that, but also, as you can see, if I were to paddle this way a bit, and then go paddling straight forward into this wall a little bit faster, boom, we don't break. So, also, boats have been slowed down a little bit, but for the most part, they're a lot better because, like, yeah. So, also, let's get into the new crafting recipe for the boats. Okay, so we're going to take, like, five oak wood planks, put it in, like, a normal boat, but we're going to put one wooden shovel in the center, and there is your oak boat. Go place it into the water, and, oh, place it the wrong way. But anyway, you just turn around, and we can go over here, made, like, a little stream. I'm still getting a little practice at, like, paddling, but for the most part, it's a lot better because, like, you don't go crashing in, and you don't really coast that far, which is a little a little nice because you don't always want to have your boat go coasting into the water. You want to just kind of have it stop right next to the bank. And so, yeah, boats have gotten significantly better when it comes to that. Also, these can hold, like, almost all mobs, I believe. I, like, I don't know about bosses, but, like, you can hold villagers, so that's a good way to transport them. Just, like, push the boat into it. They'll, it's like a minecart in a way. Like, if I have a pig here... And I drive my boat into him. Oop, wrong way. And so I paddle the boat into the pig. He'll get popped into the back of the boat. And so you can use that to, like, push villagers in. Then you can, like, teleport, or not teleport. You can transport your villagers somewhere like an iron golem farm, for say. So there's a lot of new uses with that passenger feature. And the wings are fantastic. You don't always have to interpret all the ground. Nice gliding way. I think Mumbo Jumbo has a video about, well, I know, he has a video about the glider and how far you can glide from, like, max height. And he ended up going about, what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't spoil it for you guys. Um, cover your ears if you don't want to hear <laughs> cover your ears if you don't want to hear what he got so he got two thousand blocks and then like a hundred this way because he wasn't perfectly straight because it was like an empty world at the bottom and then he just placed a block at his feet don't know how he did that because i don't remember all these kind of commands but yeah so you got the brand new boat feature you got passengers you got your wings with unbreaking you can put on them repair them using leather in the anvil so yeah you can go like this let's just go into survive oh not game mode one we can go into game mode zero and we can glide like this. And so yeah, you can glide a little ways. Let's probably go in creative here. Oop, before that guy gets us. So yeah, make your boats, put them in the water, transport your passengers, have like a maybe a system to where like you and your friend on a server can both go in like the same place while the other guy goes and get a snack or something. Goes and gets him a him or her a snack but yeah so that's about it guys hope you enjoyed this and found something helpful there will be a link to mumbo's video if you want to see him go gliding for like three minutes straight and fast forward but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this found it helpful learned a few things and yeah so um can't wait for the next snapshot see you then bye